Hello again, Dr. Jeremy Steele here from Steele Chiropractic. And today I want to talk about your shoulders. I have a lot of patients that have shoulder problems. People are asking questions. I wanted to create this video as a tutorial for people to watch on their own. Now I'm a big disc golfer and I know many of you out there are disc golfers as well. So let me show you some things that you can do to take care of your shoulders. I know I've done a video in the past, but this is going to expand on that and give you maybe some more ideas, some more tips, some more fun things for you to do so that you have healthier shoulders, so that you can play longer, so you can feel better, so your body just overall works better. Remember, we got to stay moving to stay healthy. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Now, when we're looking at the rotator cuff and the shoulder, we have many muscles that attach to our shoulder. I'm going to be going over some rotator cuff exercises, but also some scapular exercises. I believe, and from what I've seen, the scapula is very much neglected when it comes to taking care of the shoulder. So I want to show you how to do that. And also the neck. we got to take care of the neck. Remember, your shoulders are hanging. They're basically hanging off of your neck via your traps, rhomboids, levator scapula, a little bit from the collarbone here, your clavicle. So we want to talk about how we can keep healthy and keep moving in that direction. So a couple things that you might want to get out here. If you have a disc or something you can, you can push on and create tension between your hands, maybe a disc golf towel, maybe an elastic band. I got a roll of these that I got, uh, I just got a big roll of it. It's just a nice workout band. If you have something like this, these are great. I just keep this in my bag so I can warm up on the course. So the first exercise, when we're talking about the rotator cuff, nice easy one. Let's go with the band first. So we can be here and we can just pull outwards. Make sure your shoulder blades are back and down in a kind of a relaxed position. Elbows in, don't have your elbows flare out when you're doing this exercise. Keep your elbows nice and tucked in and do maybe 10 or 15 of those. We don't want to get a big burn and fatigue before our rounds. And of course, if you have any pain or discomfort with any of these exercises, make sure that you seek out some uh, professional advice. And we're out here in Lafayette if that is something any of you would like to do. And also you could use a towel for that same exercise, except you're going to be pulling this way, like so. And you're pulling out and resisting with the other hand. Just like that, back and forth. Really warming up that rotator cuff. The next one we would like to do is for the internal rotators with subscapularis muscle. So we can grab our disc like so and warm it up just like this. We're pushing, we're creating tension. We're warming up that rotator cuff. Again, shoulder blades kind of back and down in a relaxed position, elbows at your side and just going back and forth like this. This is something that really helps a lot of people with their shoulders. Next, let's grab that band again. And of course, we could also use the towel. And we can put our arms up like so. Arms, hands are at shoulder level. Shoulder blades are nice and back and down in a relaxed position, not squeezed back. And we're gonna work like this. Working out that posterior deltoid this is also engaging the rotator cuff as well. You can have hands in. You can experiment with that. Put your hands up and see. It's gonna work different parts of the shoulder and rotator cuff. Really warming it up for your rounds. It's gonna be great. Now we wanna, we wanna work out our muscles and fatigue them on our days off. You know, like really work them out and get them in shape. You know, of course, not to the point of pain and discomfort, but we wanna really activate them. But before our rounds, we just wanna warm them up a bit. If they're fatigued, it's gonna be tired. Your arms are gonna be tired. Your coordination might be a little bit off. So just warming it up. You're not gonna to do too many before your rounds, but on your days off or after your rounds, go ahead and fatigue those muscles. And if you're using the, the towel here, you can just pull from side to side, creating counter tension with the opposite hand. And this can warm up the posterior shoulder and a little bit of that rotator cuff. Next exercise. Now we're gonna focus on the scapula, okay? So we can squeeze our shoulder blades back here and forward and squeeze back here. This is getting the rhomboids, the middle trap, a little bit lower and a little bit of upper trap, but just squeezing back and relaxing. Squeezing back and relaxing. 
This is wonderful for warming up that scapula, getting those muscles warm, nice and warm for your rounds. Ah, oh, this is this is making me feel good already. I love doing these videos here. Next is for a muscle called your levator scapula. Now we have three main stabilizers for your scapula, levator scapula, rhomboid minor, and serratus anterior, but we'll get into those a little bit as well. So for that levator scapula and the trapezius a bit, we're just gonna shrug here. Now make sure that your shoulders are not too far forward and you're shrugging up like that, but they're just neutral or maybe back a little bit. It's always a good idea to have good posture. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? It's always a good idea to have good posture. I don't think anybody would tell you otherwise. So what is good posture? Well, I have a whole video on that you can check out. But mainly, just pretend that we have a little string lifting the center of our chest. That brings our shoulder blades into a more neutral position, and it brings our head more over our shoulders. So uh, for that exercise, we shrug here and relax. And we keep our head back instead of forward, right? Keep it up and back, shrugging and relaxing. Shrugging and relaxing. Then we wanna to go to the pec minor. Now the pec minor, I think of it as an accessory stabilizer muscle for the shoulders. It's a very interesting muscle. Small muscles are stabilizers. Big muscles tend to be prime movers. So let's look at that smaller muscle stabilizer, that pec minor, which attaches to the front part of our scapula. Now, this is the coracoid process, that little bump, little marble you feel under your skin there. That's where your pec minor attaches, comes down your chest here. So how can we do that without really any equipment? Well, we can we shrug up to get that levator scapula and that trapezius. And then we pull forward and down to get our pecs. You know, you see the guys from people flexing in the gym, like this, ugh, flex their pecs, right? Well, that's a good way to warm up and, and engage that pec minor. And remember I said earlier, we like to warm up before we stretch. We like to warm up the muscles, warm up the joints before we stretch. So first thing in the morning, it's always good to do these exercises, especially if you have bad shoulders. And of course, consulting a professional if you have any problems. So what I like to do here is combine these exercises. And so I'll shrug up here, and then I'll go forward and down and contract my pecs. Shrugging up, forward and down, contracting. Shrugging up and back, forward and down, contracting. And that really can help engage these a little bit, warm them up, activate them, get them ready for your round, and help you feel good throughout the day. All right, now let's go to that serratus anterior. What does the serratus anterior muscle do? It does this, it does this motion. Shoulders here, forward. Here, it brings your shoulder forward, it brings your scapula forward. Your scapula is really floating on your rib cage and it brings it forward and down a little bit. So here, bringing down. So what you can do, is you can get a band like so. I don't know if this one's long enough, but we can be here and pushing forward and pushing forward. This one's perfect actually. Pushing forward. Or you can do a push up. So let's take a look at what that might look like. This is called a scapular push up. Now I'm just gonna lean forward at an angle here, but you can do this of course all the way down, putting your hands like so, letting your let your body drop here and pushing up and squeezing forward. Pushing up and squeezing forward. This requires a little bit of coordination and so it might take you a little bit of time to kind of get that one down, but it's a wonderful exercise. Again, that's for the scapula and stabilizing that and getting a good range of motion in your scapula so that your shoulders should, can just be healthy and strong. I think that's about it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to make more videos for you. And uh, I've got plenty of ideas, but we'll, we'll go from there. Um, hey, hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you do well out there. And I'll look forward to talking with you in the future. Stay healthy, stay with strong vitality, and I'll see you in the future. Have a wonderful day. Bye.